This week at Spectrum FX, we are working on some candles. No, we're not. No, we're not. That was I'm last stuck on candles. <laughs> this week at Spectrum FX, we are working on some torches. Let's get into it. In an earlier gag, we had these torches here. Uh, they were like six or seven feet tall, and you would soak all of this in lamp oil and then let it ride. Ride, 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 and then. However, these are being shortened and they're going to be handheld torches. And since they're handheld as a safety precaution, we're making them based off of uh, propane. When you're thinking about gags, you always, 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 in effects, have to think about safety. That's safety of the crew, that's safety of the uh, cast, that's safety of anybody that is going to be near anything that you're doing. My main goal is safety. <laughs> and so what we're thinking about right now is lamp oil could drip off of the torches and it's either gonna be really hot or genuinely on fire. So since safety is one of our main goals, we're switching to propane because propane is not gonna drip. These are going to be a lot safer and you'll be able to easily control the level of fire that you get out of this. If the director says, oh, I just wish that it looked a little more intense. Like, I wish the fire burned a little bit hotter. Now it burns a little bit hotter. I have these, um, fittings that will screw onto these threads and it's a push to connect fitting and that means that I can take a flexible plastic tubing put it into there and then I can run that down somebody's sleeve through the costuming out the back I have regulators that I've built that uh, go from propane fittings to Tigon this is not a very finicky regulator at all so it's very easy to set a level and just freeze everybody walk away so the level of fire that your director or your DP looked at you and said, that's great. You keep it right here and you just turn it on and off. You have to be very careful when bending copper because copper being a flexible and soft enough metal that you can bend it around this also means that you can kink it. Now this is quarter inch OD, that's outer diameter copper tubing with about an eighth inch ID, inner diameter. But you want to get it as tight to the torch as you can, but you've got to loop it in a certain way so that you don't form a kink in the line and make it to where that no propane can actually get through the system and do what you need it to do. This has a lot of utility because it's just anytime you want a torch, you have a torch. You're thinking your uh, Indiana Jones just discovered an ancient temple. Some form of French nobleman has wronged a crowd of angry poor people and they've decided they're gonna burn his house down. Um, it allows for you to make what in reality would be kind of maybe a dangerous torch to wield around uh, and make it very safe for people to actually use and interact with. No, it's 
it's not. How long does that stuff last for? Like that? We're about to find out. Okay. I just finished building it, and I'm about to hook it up to the one powder and see what happens. Okay. All right, I'm gonna send you a test video soon, Mike. Okay, if cool. you think that it looks all right. That sounds perfect. He looks, he looks really interesting. Yeah, he, he, he's super invested right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Very much yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Just take that, he trusts he trust that you know what you're doing. Yup. It's off, yeah? Wow, I can't believe that actually fucking worked. I know. Uh, the problem we ran into is that this oakum, uh, you can run the propane through it, and it looks nice, it looks great, but then you turn your propane off, and the oakum keeps burning. And that's a problem because we need the fire to turn off when we want it to. So what we've instead done is we've taken this stuff called Panther Felt, um, and this is basically a uh, flame retardant fabric. Uh, it has a, a high ignition point, so you can put fire on it for a pretty long time, and it won't catch. And so it'll catch the propane, but when we turn the fire off, the fire turns off. Always be rolling. Especially when I'm quasi taking my shirt off. It's time to suit up. Constructive bit of advice I would give is I think that you should make the fitting lower. Oh yeah, yeah. That is exactly the right set of fittings. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's perfect. Nice. Did you use it? Yeah. Wow, it's not warm. I mean, it feels a little warm, but not bad. The chips, um, chips has video. footage of it that he's gonna air. Give me the video. Yeah. Please. Panther felt doesn't burn at all. Uh, it doesn't really singe. It takes a lot to get it to singe, actually. Um, but this mineral wool, as you can see, naturally like uh, singes and chars and crackles and all that good stuff. So it just looks a lot better. Um, and since it is fire retardant insulation, we can just turn our propane off and maybe there's still some embers but the fire is out. Oh, 
Uh, we learned that the uh, the mineral wool works a lot better than the panther felt. I don't think it's a, a like a perfect solution yet. I think that we need to tweak it a little to make it look really good, but we're way closer to it looking how we want it to than we were with just using the panther felt. So Jack did a lot of testing on the torches. So we looked at it at night, we looked at it during the day, we looked at it with propane, we looked at it with map gas, did a lot of different things. What we found is the mineral wool gives a really cool look. Um, it looks actually like there's stuff burning inside of there. So we went with that. And then the thing that we ultimately decided on was that if we pre-burn the torches, which is good because you got to test things anyway before they go to set, um, it takes away the yellow so it doesn't look weird. Um, we're pretty happy with the, with the result. Hey. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. I love lowballing people for shit on Grail.